Winter wheat planting is moving toward the finish line. On Farm Journal College TV, we talk wheat viruses from the fields of Kentucky. Sure, well, there's a number of different viruses out there. Uh, what we'd like to concentrate today is, is in general, uh, the most common one that we see in most production areas, especially winter wheat production areas, and that's barley yellow dwarf virus. Okay. Okay. Characteristic symptoms, depending on when the infection occurs, if it was early fall, late fall, early spring, later spring, dictates when the expression of the virus begins to appear. But basically, barley yellow dwarf virus appears as yellow leaves and stunting of plants. Okay, and how does this get into the uh, into the canopy? Good question. It's spread by it's it's basically spread or vectored by aphids. Okay. So most times when we see threshold levels of aphids in the fall in winter wheat, and we start seeing more than three or five per square foot, that's generally a threshold to go ahead and treat the aphids with an insecticide because most of the aphids have been found to vector the virus. So when the aphids are feeding on the wheat when it's small, they're basically vectoring this virus into the wheat plant. And again, depending on when the infection occurs, that dictates when the symptoms begin to develop. Okay, and if we do get this in our field, what kind of yield loss are we looking at? Depends a lot on when the infection occurs, but if the infection occurs early in the fall, you're looking at 20 to 40 bushel per acre losses, roughly. Significant. If it's later fall or early spring, the, the yield losses won't be as great. I'm gonna say, based upon the lack of stunting on this plant, this is probably an early spring infection. Okay. If the infection took place in the fall, you generally see a lot more stunting than what we see in here. And oftentimes, you can see actually sterile heads. Plants that are stunted enough the heads don't fully develop and the heads are sometimes sterile. Okay. So it's very important to scout for these little aphids, uh, especially in the fall and early spring. And if you reach or exceed threshold levels, then go ahead and treat with an insecticide.